Hi guys, welcome to Top Tips videos. After a short interval of time, let's continue our topic how to create t-shirt pattern in Illustrator for sublimation printing. Last time we completed making of t-shirt pattern in size medium. Now let's go for the next size large. We could easily create the large size from the medium size pattern that we already done. For that, go to the mockup size pages. Here there are all the sizes. So select the large size and copy the size mockup and paste the same thing over the work page. Here you could see the width and the length of the large size that is one inch more than that of the medium sizes. So copy the medium sizes pattern and keep one copy down for the large sizes. Now let's make the alteration over the medium sizes and convert it to the large sizes. For that, take the preferences by clicking Ctrl K and change the keyboard increment to half inch that is 12.5 mm. So every single click over arrow button will move to the half inches. Then select the bottom two anchor point of the front pattern by direct selection tool and press the arrow button towards downward two times. So the length of the pattern is incremented by one inch. After that, select all anchor point of the right side of the front pattern and move the arrow button towards right one time so that the width will be incremented by half inch. Then repeat the same process towards the left side on the left side anchor point of the front pattern. Here your median size pattern of the front side is converted to the large size. Then just change the label to the large. Here your median size pattern of the front side is converted to the large size. Then just change the label to the large. Repeat the same formula for the back pattern as shown here. Make the bottom length increment by 1 inch and the side anchor point increment by half inches. So here the both the front and back pattern is incremented by 1 inch and it's converted to large size pattern. Here the special thing you have to notice is you don't need to any make the any changes in the sleeves that is both medium and large size pattern sleeves will be the in same measurement. So just change the label medium to large and keep same as it is. Here you completed the large size pattern completely. Next let's create the HL size pattern from the large size. For that copy this mockup and paste in the work area. Here also the HL size is the 1 inch increment of the large size. So copy the large pattern to the down. Do the same process by incrementing 1 inch on the length by selecting the bottom anchor point over this pattern. and increment half inch on the both side of the pattern. Here the special thing we have to notice is the sleeve opening of the HL size is different from the large size. So it should be increment by half inch that is 12.5 mm. For that just select the bottom anchor point of the both sleeve opening and move one step down with the preferences 12.5 mm. Do the same process on the back pattern also. Now the axle body is completed. Now we have to convert the sleeve pattern from large to axle. For that, select the one sleeve and increase the height of the sleeve by one inch and keep the width proportionally. So the height of the 10 inch will be come to 11 inch and the width proportionally. And change the level to axle size. Once you made a right side sleeve, just copy and make a left sleeve. Here you completed the wall axle size pattern. Now let's move to the double XL. For that, use the same process and also note that no need to changing the sleeve. 
as we did on making the large size from the medium size. It means the sleep sizes of the medium and large are same. As well, the HL and 2HL are the same sleeve and for the small and the extra small are also the same sleeve measurement. So here we don't need to change the measurement of the sleeve. So just to change the label to double XL from the XL. That's all. Here we completed the sizes from medium to double XL. So in an opposite way, now let's create the small size pattern by reducing the medium size by 1 inches. For that, copy the size mockup to our work area. Then duplicate a copy of medium size pattern for converting it to the small size pattern. Select the bottom anchor point and reduce the length by 1 inch by moving arrow button towards up by 2 times. And reduce the right part anchor point by half inch by moving arrow button towards left by one moment. Also do the same process in the right part by moving half inch towards the left. That is the total width and the height should reduce it by one inch. In the same way reduce the one inch on the back pattern by the same process. Then reduce the sleeve opening by half inch. For that select the bottom anchor point of both sleeves and move arrow button towards up by one moment. Now the body pattern is completed. Then let's move to the sleeve. For the sleeve select this sleeve pattern and reduce the size by reducing one inch of width and keep the height proportionally. Do the same process over the left sleeve also or duplicate the right sleeve. After that, just change the level towards small size. So here we completed all size patterns. Based on this formula, we could create other bigger and smaller size pattern as well. Just note that every sizes will vary by 1 inches of height and width. But the sleeve will vary after 2 sizes. That is, extra small and small have the same sleeve medium and large have the same sleeve and so on. Now let's see how to use this pattern for overall printing or the sublimation printing. Just subscribe our channel and wait for upcoming videos. Thank you.